welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette and my wardrobe series. A lot of you have asked me about my wardrobe and what it looks like. And because it would take too much time to do just one video about everything, we split it up. In the past, we already did accessories such as my ring collection or my cufflink collection, as well as my shoe collection. Today is about my pocket square collection. <laughs> I've always found that adding a pocket square to a jacket instantly upgrades the look, makes it more stylish. And so I always collected them whenever I found one that I liked and added it to my collection because I wanted to be able to have different ones for different situations in different shades that work with my jackets, especially if they're patterned. Not every pocket square always works with every jacket. First, let's look at my white pocket squares. If you don't have any pocket square yet, investing in a simple white linen pocket square with hand rolled edges is the best money you'll ever spend. Because it's such a wardrobe staple, we have a whole range in our shop with different initials. So you can either use them for yourself or as a gift or have them even as a handkerchief that you need in your back pocket. It's a worthwhile investment and most men have at least three white linen pocket squares in their collection. White pocket squares work well with any kind of dark suit as well as tuxedos or tailcoats for evening wear. If you wear a lot of business suits, you may not always wanna wear a simple white pocket square and then it pays to have white with a dash of color. So for example, in our shop, we have a whole range of white pocket square with hand rolled edges and an embroidered colorful edge. It really makes everything pop if you have a crown fold, which just shows off the different colors of the tips and it creates some visual interest, but you still have the white background. Alternatively, you could have a white pocket square with a hand rolled edge in a contrast color, which is very popular and it is likely not gonna go out of style anytime soon. While these white with contrast edge pocket squares are almost mainstream among clothing aficionados, going with the contrast stitch, especially an X stitch, is very different and it gives you the same effect, yet it has that craft element in it because it's a fine X stitch, it's stitched in both ways and it's very unique and you can find a selection of those in our shop here. Other white pocket squares in my collection are this one, in white with some brown paisley. Also this slightly off-white with polka dots and a contrast blue edge, as well as this white and green or beige dotted pocket square, which works really well with brown tones and brown suits when you don't want just a harsh white. Of course, I have all the pocket squares we offer in our shop in my collection. However, I only wanna show you a few of them, otherwise the video would take too long. Another more unusual white pocket square is this one with hand embroidered blue polka dots. And it's just a fun little accessory. It's not something you usually see. Usually polka dots are printed. They're never embroidered, especially not hand embroidered. And we make those with skilled artisans in Italy. And again, you can find it in our shop here. I really like to wear it with any kind of navy suit or navy or blue blazer because it really makes it pop in a sophisticated yet not super formal way. Sometimes it's also nice to have a white silk pocket square. And I don't like the solid white silk ones simply because they have a tendency to look flatter. They're a little more shiny and so I prefer linen. But if there's other printed elements on there, such as this one, it works well with darker suits. Personally, I try to avoid white pocket squares with any kind of casual garments such as tweed jackets, sport coats or suits because they just don't work well together. The easiest way to pair a white pocket square is with a white shirt because that way we don't have to pick up the color in any other parts of your outfit and it'll always look classic. If you decide to go with white silk pocket squares, make sure they're thick enough because the thinner silk is quite flimsy and it will likely collapse on you in your pocket or sometimes also come out more easily. So if you go with silk, go with a heavier silk, otherwise linen, specifically made for pocket squares, is your number one choice. Even better than cotton. Linen is crisper, it has a nicer look and it wrinkles in a different way than cotton. Cotton is usually too thin and too lightweight and just doesn't look as sophisticated and dapper. Next up, let's look at my blue pocket squares. Blue is a very popular color in menswear, particularly for men's ties as well as suits. And because of that, blue pocket squares pick up those colors and 
make for a sophisticated overall outfit as long as there are other colors incorporated into that blue. One of my favorite blue pocket squares is probably this kind of turquoise mohair blue one from Fort Belvedere. We saw it in our shop. It is a mix of silk and wool, which makes it different than wool. It's softer than just wool, but it's also not as flimsy as silk and is the perfect middle ground in my opinion. It also has a bunch of different colors, such as red, which is another dominant color in menswear, as well as green and yellow and gold tones. So it's very versatile and I like to travel with it because chances that this pocket square will look good with any kind of jacket I bring are very high. Otherwise, I have a bunch of silk pocket squares such as these ones, I think from Turnbull and Asser with, again, white and red, which work well with classic business outfits. Another one I really like is this kind of medium dark blue one with little printed patterns on it. I've worn it with a lot of different outfits and it gets the scale quite right so I can wear it even with a pattern tie or with a solid tie and it also stands out from a pattern jacket. This Paisley inspired one is made of a dark navy with tones of orange and green. You can find it in our shop. I like it because it has different areas on the square so depending on what my outfit looks like I have a visible color that is either more orange or more blue or more green and so it's quite versatile. This pocket square is another favorite of mine. It's a light blue with small paisley prints in white, brown and dark blue. It goes with a lot of things especially with blazers, business outfits as well as brown tones because it incorporates the brown tone and you can find this color as well as a bunch of others with the same pattern in our shop here. This blue paisley pocket square is a little louder. It has the yellow tones, but it's a nice classic paisley print. Next up is a different kind of blue with greenish printed rabbits that are based on old tapestries. And again, you can find it in our shop here. It's that same silk wool blend that I like so much because you can pair it with business suits as well as tweed sport coats and it will always look debonair but not shiny and cheap. Just like with the white linen pocket squares and a colored edge, you can find the reverse, a darker base color with a white edge. And I sometimes like combining this one, especially if I have a more summery suit. Ideally, you do this with a lighter jacket. Otherwise, it just doesn't look as good on darker jackets. Here's another linen paisley print one, which I wear in a puff fold, which is unusual because usually linen is crisper and it's more suited to a crown fold. If you're a friend of subdued colors, you like this one. It's a dark navy one with blue polka dots. You can find it in our shop. It's made out of wool shelly. And because of that, the size is smaller. The wool shelly is simply thicker and so it needs a smaller size. Traditionally, pocket squares are cut, so they yield the most number of pocket squares per width of the fabric. However, I realized that that doesn't always lead to pocket squares that are ideal for your chest pocket. So all of the pocket squares you can find in our shop are sized exactly for a regular men's chest pocket, so they look the best. And even if that means we're wasting some fabric, we still do it, because ultimately the pocket square is about how you look and not about how many pocket squares I can cut from a piece of fabric. Interestingly, that is not often talked about, but I was sick and tired of super large linen pocket squares that just bulged up in my chest pocket, so I decided I needed to size those down. The silk ones, on the other hand, are thinner, so they need to be bigger. Wool shelly need to be even smaller. And so with every fabric, we try to get the size exactly right. This pocket square I bought early on, it's kind of a very dark navy from Christian Dior with some printed motifs. I wear it very rarely because it's so dark and it only goes with lighter jackets. Here's another rabbit motif pocket square in navy with more yellow rabbits, very similar to the other ones. Sometimes the contrast white edge is too hard. So here's a light gray that's a little more muted. I like to wear it with, for example, a petrol blue jacket. This pocket square has interesting colors in teal and mustard yellow. It's definitely a vintage piece and sometimes it's nice to have something that is different than a modern one because the color palette is just different and makes your whole outfit unique. If you're looking for a blue classic stable pocket square, I'd say this is it because it has not a white but a slightly off-white polka dot on a simple navy. It's wool shelly, so it doesn't wrinkle perfect when you travel. And it's just an all-time classic that will never go out of style. This is an interesting pocket square. It has an open weave. It's kind of a prototype we looked into, but I didn't quite like the feel of it. And we rather are looking into some linen ones right now, so stay tuned. Here you can see some prototype po pocket squares 
with this kind of very special linen that we're currently testing. We just have to make sure that we get the size right, otherwise it will look bad in your pocket. Here's an interesting blue pocket square with tones of purple and yellow. It's surprisingly versatile, and I wear it sometimes when I want some typical checks in my outfit. Works well with solid jackets. When it comes to white and off-white, you can probably have 30 different shades. When it comes to blue, you can have all kinds of different shades. So because of that, we added some pocket squares in different blues with different hues, and here a white contrast trim border. I also have other ones that have a little more texture with a twisted yarn, so you get more color flex. Overall, I think you can hardly ever have enough blue pocket squares. This pocket square here is rather loud, but I distinctly remember buying it in 2005 while I was during an internship at Frankfurt in Germany. At the time, my style was louder and bolder, and so I thought this was quite a good investment. Turns out I hardly ever wear this pocket square anymore simply because it's too loud. Instead, I now wear a pocket square like this one here. Again, silk wool fabric. It picks up tones with purple, brown, green, and off-white, and it's much easier to combine with your outfits, and it always looks debonair. This is an interesting square here with brown tones and blue, two colors which are very dominant in menswear, and so having those two combined in a pocket square is always advantageous because you have brown shoes or maybe a blue suit or a blue shirt, and it will always look harmonious. For summer, I really like this kind of light blue linen fabric with a contrast yellow edge stitch. Works particularly well with all kinds of yellow ties, for example, yellow knit ties. Some other good combinations are red and light blue, Again, red is very dominant in menswear, and so is blue, so having them both together in a pocket square makes it very easy to combine things. Next up are red pocket squares. I'm wearing one here right now with the same rabbits you could see before. Again, you can find it in our shop here. This one here is quite interesting. It has a Prince of Wales check or a Glen check pattern with a contrast edge on kind of a silver gray. I found that I wear this one a lot, particularly with solid jackets in gray or in navy. So I'll try to reproduce it so we can offer it to you in the shop because I've just found it to be so, so versatile. This one here is a classic dark red pocket square that I found vintage. It has this kind of bronze tone that is rich with some blue in there. And I just like to combine it with matter silk ties or bow ties because it has darker, muted, yet rich colors. Another great pocket square in the same pattern as the turquoise teal one, the very first one I introduced you is this one in red. It picks up the same color tones, but it's slightly different when you fold it. And again, I like to travel with it because it enables me to create very classic combinations that are easy to combine. This is an older Fort Belvedere pocket square that we initially used to sell. We currently don't have it in stock. Maybe I'll reprint it at some point in time. I liked it because the red was a little stronger, yet there were green and blue tones in it, and so it was easy to combine. Overall, I think it was a little small, so the next iteration will be a little bigger, so stay tuned. This is a pocket square I bought years ago. It has this white edge, it's a bright red. It's linen, but it is a little too bright for my tastes now, so I hardly wear it at all anymore unless I have a very muted outfit. This one, on the other hand, is a really nice pocket square. It has exactly the right tone, which is like a deep burgundy with off-white polka dots. I think it's from Ralph Lauren, but you can find them in many places. And I'll definitely want to add one of those to our collection because it's a real good staple to have. A really underrated color for pocket squares is orange. And orange is underrated in men's wear in general, which is why we made this video here. Please check it out. It shows you how to combine orange, and having orange pocket squares is a really good way. For example, here we have kind of an orange-white herringbone that is a little more reddish. It works well with fresco jackets or any kind of solid jacket where you want to add a little more texture to the outfit. We also have these three different orange linen pocket squares with different contrast edges from Fort Belvedere, which are very easy to combine in the summer because it's a warm color, it's contrasting, and it's different than red. For fall, winter, having orange and green, such as in this Will Shelley pocket square with polka dots from Fort Belvedere, is really great. I also like this kind of salmon orange toned one, which is very sort of similar to the blue one we saw before, but with different colors, so it works well in a different context. Big fan of it during a fall-winter season. Probably the most versatile orange pocket square I own is this one here. It's the same pattern as the red one or the turquoise blue one. Silk wool blend, different colors, phenomenal. Works with business suits, casual garments, sport garments, it's just wonderful. 
This orange one, again, is quite bright, so I only wear it in the summer, for example, with a sear summer suit. Other than orange, I'm a big fan of yellow pocket squares because they're soft, they're warm, but they're not quite as harsh as white. This one here comes in a color that's also known as buff, which is a soft yellow with a hint of beige. There's also some red in here and black, and they work well with matter silk ties. This mustard yellow pocket square with brown accents from Fort Belvedere is really nice during the summer because it's very rich and almost like a sunflower. These two pocket squares are essentially the same pattern, but with a dye and discharge process, sometimes the color shifts a little bit, so you don't always get the same. The one is a little more yellow, the other one is more beige and off-white, but it's again that same pattern that we saw before with a salmon or with a blue, and it's very perfect to combine with all kinds of casual garments. I don't like it as much with suits because it's too clashing, but with any type of brown or green tones, it works really well. When I started our menswear, I found these two pocket squares in the wardrobe a lot. One is made out of silk and yellow. The other one is a little more pale and made out of cotton. Turns out both are very thin and flimsy. So when I found this yellow linen fabric, I knew that it would look phenomenal with the contrasting yellow X-stitch, and so we added it to our shop. It's a perfect size and one of my number one choices of yellow pocket squares in the summer. Now, apart from those color palettes, I also have a bunch of different ones, which I can just group, so I just wanna walk through them one by one. First, there's kind of this beige one with a blue contrast edge, works well with any kind of brown and blue very easy to combine. Unfortunately, it's cotton, so it doesn't wrinkle as nicely. So with this one here, you get it in linen with the blue X-stitch. Again, you can find it in our shop, and it's another one of my favorites. If you like paisley patterns, you probably like this. It's kind of a burnt pale brown with a very soft off cream tone, and it's just very nice. We used to sell them years ago. We may add into our program again, we'll see. This printed English silk pocket square has nice tones of blue and brown. Again, combinations which make them very easy to combine and you can find it in our shop here. This one I thought was a cool color combination because it had this kind of orange brown with purple dots that are rather bold. So if you have a tie with finer stripes, it works quite well to balance the scale and the size of patterns. This one here was an interesting vintage fabric I came across that we sold out of. It had threads of orange in it, so it was very rich. We also made ties out of it. Of course, I would never combine them together. And you wanna learn how to combine pocket squares with ties and shirts, please check out this video here. Another great pocket square is this matter silk one here from Fort Belvedere in brown with tones of bronze, gold, blue, uh, red. And you can always tell it's matter silk if you look at the back because you can see the color of the dye and discharge. It has this kind of blue tone, which is very characteristic of the matter silk. It takes a lot more steps and is a lot more complicated to print. And because of that, matter silk is more expensive than regular silk. In that same vein, we have this kind of brown, orange, and green pocket square. Again, it's a matter silk pocket square and you can see it in the back. This pocket square here is also from Fort Belvedere with green tones and very bright oranges. I always try to only have a little peak of the orange pop out, otherwise it's too overwhelming for my personal taste, but some people like it louder. Here's an interesting pocket square. It was kind of a prototype we did. It's a cashmere pocket square with a slight pattern. I found that it just doesn't look quite right in the pocket and it was a little too soft, which is why we never brought it into production. This color is also too bright and I don't find any use for it. Instead, I like more muted greens, such as this one with a purple dot and an orange rim. Uh, easy to combine, yet different. This pocket square is from Ralph Lauren Purple Label. It has a very chalky and musty feel, almost like the very old matter silks you could find. It's almost like a washed effect, and it works with lighter jackets when you want something that's contrasting, that is not too over the top. Another great versatile pocket square is this one here with tones of blue, green, red, and brown. Makes it easy to combine with all kinds of things without being boring. If you like a bit more classic, this Meckelsfield Neats print is the way to go. You can find it in our shop here. This is a sample pocket square in a green. It has the same kind of print, the same kind of color scheme, just printed on linen, which is really nice for summer because it wrinkles differently and it stands up in a different way. Here we experimented with an olive green and a purple edge. 
I don't wear it quite as often, but it's very unique. And if you want something different, this could be it. Here's a pocket square that I found and liked because of the dot spacing. It's very wide and that's something you usually see. I thought it was a good idea to pick it up so we could create our own dots in that pattern. The color is a little too bright for me, but again, it's nice to have different options in a wardrobe. Here's another purple pocket square from Fort Belvedere. Fun during the summer. This one is one of my favorite purple ones. Again, it's matter silk with this backside. That you can see on the front, it has colors of orange, rust, bronze, and maybe green. Makes it easy to put together in an outfit in a very sophisticated way. Here's an interesting pocket square with a base of black or charcoal, which is not something I usually wear, but when you fold a pocket square, you see the center medallion and it doesn't look black at all. You can also fold it so you just see the edges or just the black, so it's like three pocket squares in one. You can find it in our shop here. This is a very old pocket square from Brioni. I always liked the pattern. It was an all-over brown paisley. Here's one of the first pocket squares I bought. It was kind of a fine rip silk pocket square in solid purple. I wore it with a tuxedo, and I think that's pretty much the only way I still want to wear it because it's quite bright, and the shine is only appropriate for evening occasions. So keep that in mind. If you get shiny silk, it looks oftentimes cheap and you can only wear it in the evening where the sparkle of the light really makes sense. Here's another cool pockets where I came across and I really liked the color combinations of those mustard green and purple tones. It's uh, very nice and I like those. It's sometimes hard to combine them or to conceptualize them. So whenever I come across something that I like, I pick it up so we can play with it and maybe make it into a different pattern. Because at the end of the day, having different pocket squares and different colors makes it really easy to create a different, unique looking outfit on a day-to-day -day basis. So here is a silk pocket square. It's not quite as shiny. Yes, it has some shine, but it's not as shiny as the purple one I showed you before. Also, it's in yellow with bold printed motifs in red and blue as well as green. And I like to wear it sometimes without a necktie or a bow tie because it's bold on its own. This one here is a pocket square that we offer in our shop. It's quite bright and honestly, it turned out too bright for my taste. I thought it was darker and more muted. Turns out some people really like that color and so we're still carrying it. Instead, I would go with an orange like this, which is kind of golden and you can mix it with yellow tones, with orange tones. It has the blue, green and white paisley printed on it as well as black. Makes it easy to combine and it always looks phenomenal, especially with like navy or blue jackets. A pocket square color that's really underrated is this kind of copperish bronze with two pocket squares in our shop. One is that same kind of pattern. It's a matter silk with a kind of green and red printed pattern that is oversized. The other one is a little more playful with matter blue tones, green and blue as well as red. And it's just fun to combine. It works with all kinds of brown tones as well as fresco jackets. And you can even pull it off with business wear. It's just not a color you typically see in menswear and I think it's super underrated. So if you want something special, consider a bronze or copperish bronze pocket square. You can find them here in our shop. For the summer, I also like these large oversized paisleys in kind of summery lighter colors. And some people also like the color pink. Now I'm not a huge fan of pink in menswear, but I still do have some pocket squares. This one is a printed one from Hermes. It has kind of a basket weave pattern on it with blue and yellow elements. Honestly, it's quite bold and so I hardly ever wear it. I also have different pink cotton pocket squares and different shades. They're cotton and very thin, so I only wear them in a crown fold when I want to just have a slight accent in a pink color, which is rarely the case for me. And then I also have this linen one with a white contrast edge, which is not something I wear too often. However, if you're into pink shirts, having pink pocket squares is definitely a good way to put together an outfit. I hope I didn't overwhelm you. I didn't quite show every single one I had, but overall, you get the gist, you get the color combinations, and to learn how to fold pocket squares, please check out this older video here. And if you wanna know how to combine them, 
this is a really great video. In today's outfit, I wore a Glen Jack jacket with a slight kind of reddish orange over plaid. Pocket squares were changing. My shirt is plain white. I skipped the necktie or the bow tie. My pants are quite bold. It's kind of Nantucket red. And I combine them with chukka boots in a sand color with a belt that picks up those sand tones, but also has dark brown elements in it that work well with the jacket and the sole of my boots. The socks are contrasting. They're light gray and light blue shadow stripes from Fort Belvedere. 